All right, how's it going guys? Dalton with Jaspertronics, and today we are talking about airflow. Airflow on these smaller Epson units that take the ELPLP96. There are quite a few of these units. Uh, this particular one is the Home Cinema 1060. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, with these units, they are, they're small. They're, they're very small, they're very compact. Um, it's a cool thing, but it's also not, because they get really hot. Um, quite literally, uncool, ha ha ha. Alright, anyway, so what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at the airflow system on these. We've got, a, you know, a nice new filter in here, and uh, we're also going to be taking a look at the airflow system on the um, actual bulb itself. Um, so what I have here is this is just like a little... It's it's like an air blower. It's almost like a miniaturized leaf blower, but it's uh, essentially a great replacement for a can of compressed air. Um, it's got this little nozzle attachment on it. These go pretty quick, um, as far as like the how much air comes out of it, how quickly it blows, and things like that. Um, these are not bad at all. Um, that's what I've been using to get my units cleaned out, and I've been really enjoying them. So let's get this bulb compartment opened up and talk a little bit more about the airflow inside of there. And with the power of movie magic, we're back! And we have the bulb compartment open and the lamp removed. So what we're really going to be looking at here is the airflow around this lamp and that is going to be the big cause of most issues with these projectors um, if you notice your lamps are getting dim quickly if your bulbs are going out quickly this is probably the reason why um, especially on these units that take the 96 they're all designed similarly whenever it comes to their airflow so if we look inside here and it can be kind of hard to see I will be popping the top off later to get a better look but from inside the bulb compartment right here, you have your intake fan. Um, these can be blown out just like this if you need to. I highly recommend taking the top off first, um, but if that's not something you're capable of doing, that can be a quick temporary way to kind of help alleviate the problem, um, but it won't make it go away. So the other fan, you can't really see it super well, but it's in here and it can be reached from right here. So the best way to blow these out, to blow it out of the unit, is to of course just kind of blow in right there. That's where you're gonna wanna hit it. That's where it's gonna blow air out. Um, there's also this fan right here uh, behind the um, filter here. These tend to be okay. Um, they have a filter in front of them, and so long as you're replacing your filter regularly, they tend to not have a whole lot of dust buildup. If you're not replacing your filter regularly, you might want to hit that as well. All right, so I'm going to get the top popped off of this. Um, it's really easy on these units, um, and I will be right back to kind of talk more about this fan right here, this main intake fan. All right, one sec. And just like that, we're back. All right, so we've got the top popped off here and now you can actually see everything. Um, here is the uh, better look at that intake fan there. Yeah, you can see it, it's pretty clean. There's really not a whole lot in there. Let's take a look at the problem child of the system. This fan, right here. This is your main cooling fan for the lamp. Uh, that is what's actually going to blow cool air into your lamp and keep the system cool. If you uh, notice something about it, it's tiny. It's actually smaller than this speaker right here. Um, these have problems. Um, they can fail. They can cause a lot of issues in your system. This is the most common cause of problems on these units that I've seen. Um, really, the best thing to do with these is to just get them blown out. Whenever you've got them opened up like this, it's very easy to see it from the back. You can see the fan blades. If you blow it right here, it's going to actually spit the air out through this open compartment and you're not getting anything in front of the lens. That's 
That's really what you want to avoid. You don't want dust to get in this area because that can be a bit of a pain. Uh, whenever you have it opened up like this, it's easier to clean, but if you can't open it, it can be quite a pain. So that's really the big issues with these units. Again, it mostly has to do with this tiny little fan right here. Um, so if you guys have any questions, uh, definitely, you know, leave them down in the comments below. If you like the video, definitely leave us a like. And uh, if you want more content, subscribe. I've got more stuff that in the works. I've got more things I'm going to be rolling out, uh, discussing more of the technical side of some of these units. So uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, see you in the next one. Later.